de, des citoyens de Toronto. Mayor, sorry, can you just go back to the question of the province? That was bad French, eh? Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, just going back to the question about uh, Queen's Park. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, I didn't answer. It was inadvertent. I forgot. You get so there's multi-part questions. Um, I, I raised it with them as a list of options. Again, I try to be very honest with with you folks and through you to the people about all the different things we're considering. And I said to you a couple of months ago, we were looking at all the options as to how to deal with the need to pay for this transit in the housing. And that did include looking at assets and what we could do with those. And it did include a whole variety of uh, revenue measures. The only thing it really didn't include ever, because I had said very clearly uh, from day one that it, I didn't think it was appropriate was using massive increases in property taxes uh, to pay for these things. And so I went up and kind of told uh, the Premier and others at Queen's Park that I meet with on a regular basis that we were looking at all of these different options. And I can only say to you that um, I didn't say to them, well, can you tick off a box or could you sign a paper saying this is okay with you? But I will only tell you of the things that I said we were looking at. Um, they had no objection that they registered with me uh, to any of those. And so I, I haven't gone beyond that. I haven't written a formal letter or made a formal request, uh, but I simply did go and canvass those different options with them. And um, I think if they'd said, well, we won't, I'll give you an example. There were, there were a couple of things that we talked about that they, you know, were not necessarily going to be helpful to us on. One of which was I wanted to explore of these revenue measures that were in the City of Toronto Act uh, on alcohol. Um, if you really wanted to do it efficiently and not get into a complete circus with respect to how you collected it, um, you would either have to do it through the LCBO uh, or uh, through uh, retail, you know, at restaurants and so forth. And they quite rightfully pointed out, this is really just a practical consideration, but this was their response to me, that at the restaurant level, um, that those taxes are now no longer collected by the provincial government. And of course, we have no tax collection mechanism there because the city doesn't. And so you'd have to somehow go to Ottawa and get them to somehow do some calculation as to how much of this alcohol tax came from City of Toronto residents and City of Toronto restaurants. And on the LCBO side, um, you'll understand them running a, um, a province-wide chain of liquor stores, in effect. Um, they were not anxious to have differential pricing schemes going on that involved us applying taxes here and there collecting and remitting those. So those were the kinds of discussions. We had a little bit on a couple of options where they said, well, there are some concerns we have about a couple of these. These were tools, incidentally, they had given to us, which quite frankly, um, many of them proved to be, in the end, uh, not really of much uh, potential utility to us in terms of paying for transit and roads just because of some of these issues. But we had some of those discussions, but most of them weren't even in, as in-depth as that. We just canvassed options we were looking at, which was a pretty wide range and they sort of didn't really express an objection to any of them. Mayor John, is only a one-way toll coming into the city or both directions? No, you'd pay. I mean, the idea is without picking numbers and so on, you would pay each time you use the highway. So if you, you know, drove in and took the GO train back, you'd pay once. If you drove in and drove out, you'd pay twice. Mayor Tory, you more than mayor's going to go. But I, again, I'm, 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 I, you know, again, I, that, I gave that as an example today. And again, there's going to be officials doing work on this that will determine the details of that uh, uh, that will, in fact, be recommended to uh, the city council. And so the, the shape and form of this, uh, I think, is going to be very much dependent upon the advice that they give us. You, you've had a question. I just want I want to get to maybe two more people that haven't had a question, and then I'll go. So, John, go ahead. You know what? I have enough on my plate, as you well know, uh, just standing here today dealing with what the City of Toronto uh, should do and can do and will do, I hope. Uh, so I'm not going to venture into what the province of Ontario should do. I just hope that they will uh, help uh, to make it possible for us to build the transit that will alleviate the traffic, because the traffic is a mess. Uh, people ec elected me expecting we would deal with it. I've been trying my best to do things that help to manage it better in the short term, but the real long-term solution comes in building more transit and giving people more options so they don't have to use their car and that is what I'm trying to move forward to do as part of a plan uh, that also says that we're going to say to people who use roads that we pay for and upkeep and service and rebuild uh, that they're going to help us, people who don't live in the city, to pay a small share of that cost as I think is fair. Do you know how much we're going to charge? Do you know how much we're going to charge? Can you give us assurances, because you're only one vote on council, that that personal vehicle tax is not going to rear its head? When I you will... I will fight and I will fight and I will fight to make sure that is not reintroduced. The people have spoken on that. Uh, the previous mayor uh, staked a lot on that. Uh, I think that uh, that should be considered to be a chapter that is closed. And notwithstanding that there are many recommendations in the city manager's report of things we could consider, uh, I'm not interested in pursuing that. And I believe that I will have the support of a majority of the members of city council not to reintroduce that.
that. I have no intention of supporting it. I have no intention of reintroducing it. I have no intention of supporting anybody who does reintroduce it. So as far as I'm concerned, it's dead. And RIP. Mayor Troy, you still don't know how much it's going to cost for, for drivers. If you don't know how much it's going to cost to implement an operator tool system, how can you stand before us today and say the revenue will be enough to build these transit plans? Well, George. I gave an example, and it's all I can do. I picked an example that I thought was a sort of an appropriate number at $2, appropriate meaning it was somewhere between the bottom and the top of what was recommended. It was a number that seemed fair. It's well less than a TTC fare. Um, and, and so I gave a number and said what I thought that would raise. There are other numbers contained in the report. And I'm not standing here before you suggesting that this will raise all of the money to pay for all of the $33 billion uh, that are needed. In fact, a good chunk of that money should be coming, as I believe it will, from the other levels of government. But in terms of beginning the task of being honest with people and saying get it, we're getting on with a plan to build transit and to do the other things we have to do that have been postponed for so long and to fix the traffic, uh, I think this is a really good start and that people will see this is going to raise a significant sum of money in a fair way that also calls upon some of the residents of other places outside of the City of Toronto who use our services to pay a, a fair share as well. So that is a number that was picked as an example, both in the report and in my speech, and there are many details to be sorted out now, but I think it gives people an idea of what we're talking about, and I stand by it as producing a very significant sum of money, certainly far more than anybody else has had the wherewithal to stand up here and say we're going to produce to pay for these things. It was easy in previous days for people to sit and vote at council meetings for projects that sounded good to the people and looked good sitting on a list. and. Not not spell out ever how they were going to pay for them. I won't run that kind of administration. I won't run that kind of city. It's inconsistent with the plan that I have for the city to actually move these forward and build things and alleviate the traffic and get things done, and we're going to get on with it. Thank you.